Hello everyone, this is Christopher, and this morning I'm in the kitchen of the house where I grew up in the United States. So this is the place where I have the earliest memories of coffee. And back then I didn't drink coffee yet, so my memories are of the aroma of freshly brewed coffee made in this exact Chemex that's sitting behind me and uh, the whole magic process of watching coffee being brewed in a Chemex. So I'm sort of returning to my roots. I don't usually use a Chemex for brewing, so this is an experiment in brewing with a Chemex in a fairly crude fashion. And you'll, you'll see that this isn't a perfect uh, execution of the exercise. Uh, there's an accident in the middle of the brewing. Uh, it's not a major accident. The Chemex is still intact, no glass broken, no floods, and the coffee is entirely drinkable. So this is uh, what I would call guerrilla coffee making. You could spell it with G-U-E-R I-L-L-A, or you could spell it with an O. It's a, I did a single take of this video of brewing the coffee, and also this trip I didn't travel with any coffee gadgets. So um, some of my friends uh, have a full carry-on complement, including a kettle, a brewer, and, and I roast my coffee in places like this, so I would have to carry my coffee roaster, I suppose, too. But I had none of that on this trip. So this is an exercise in doing things with what's available. I'd like to thank all of the coffee mavens out there who've inspired me with various drip and Chemex recipes and uh, other things that they're doing. And I'd like to thank all of you for your views, and comments, and questions. And invite you to ask more questions and provide comments and feedback. Thank you for watching.